says, sometimes we get people making jokes. And these jokes may mock the religion of Allah. And sometimes they mock the Quran. And she gave an example. I did not uh, fully comprehend it. I did not fully comprehend it. It says that in Surah Al-Masad, وَمْرَأَتُهُ حَمَّالَةَ الْحَطَبْ فِي جِدِهَا حَبْلٌ مِّن مَسَد So she says that in Urdu, one of the words here means to his mother or belonging to his mother. So they use this Quranic verse to joke and mock that everything is for the mother as stated. But of course it's not what was meant by the ayah. So they manipulate the meaning of the ayah. Sometimes people make jokes. And unfortunately, I heard this in a lecture. And may Allah forgive the one who said it, where a missionary debated with a Muslim in front of the people's village to make a point. So he said, couldn't Allah Azza wa Jal save al Hussein from being killed and he's the grandson of uh, uh, the Prophet and the conversation goes to say something may Allah forgive us that Allah Azza wa Jal said I could not save my own son let alone save your grandson O Muhammad which the Shaykh who said it wanted to prove to the missionary that you accused your Lord of being unable to protect his own son, as you believe, O Christians, from being crucified. So how would you object on him not saving the grandson of Muhammad, etc.? Now, these stories are problematic. They show a great deal of negligence of Allah's beautiful names and attributes. Those people who mock the Qur'an the hadith, who say that Allah did this, Allah did that, jokingly, are falling into kufr. Allah stated in Surah At-Tawbah, if I'm not mistaken, verse 65, 66, chapter 9. قُلْ أَبِ اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَهْزِئُونَ لَا تَعْتَذِرُوا this is one of the nullifiers of Islam. When you mock, and this is a story as in Mustadrak al-Hakim, in Sahih, three were traveling with the Prophet ﷺ in Ghazwat Tabuk, in the expedition of Tabuk. And while they were camping, three of them started chit-chatting and gossiping. So one of them said, I or we have not seen anyone like the companions, the reciters of the Qur'an, these companions of the Prophet ﷺ. They are big in tummies, they're fat, and they are liars. They say what they don't do, and they're so cowardly when it comes to fighting. Immediately, Allah revealed these ayahs. And if you were to ask them, O oh, Muhammad, they would, say, they would say that we were just mocking around we were playing, fooling around. Say to them, is it by Allah, his verses, and the messenger, والسلام, you were mocking? Do not apologize. You have abandoned Islam and went into kufr. You have committed an act of blasphemy after being a believers. So this is not a game. People who do this have zero weight of the love and respect of submissiveness and worship and humility to Allah Azza wa Jal. They have arrogance, and most of them, if you bring that to their attention, they become furious and start shouting and cursing and, 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 and abusing you, which indicates that these are real, true hypocrites. Real believers would immediately back off and say, Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive me, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. And then our caller will call, uh, where did you get La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah from? 
sue me. Anyhow, so this is a very serious topic, and you cannot make jokes about the Quran, about the Prophet, about the Sunnah, about the companions, about anything in the religion of Islam, because this is a dividing line between Iman and Kufr. Sada 